Um, I've lost both both of my brothers, my little brother and my older brother, to opioids. Um, it's it's a crisis that's just being uh, looked at now, but it's been a, a crisis for some time now. Um, big pharma has just got a grasp and a grip on the political system here in New Jersey. It's un I, I just can't even explain how frustrating it is that people that are trying to get medicine that is natural, um, less side effects, doesn't equal any deaths, is taking a back seat to these opioids and all these pills that are being doled out in monumental numbers by the, the pharmaceutical companies. Yeah, the opium epidemic is insane. I know so many people who are losing their children to, you know, prescription medicines. And and to um, heroin, I, it makes no sense to me why anybody would ever even think about doing heroin when they know how addictive and deadly it is. I think a lot of it has to do with the government lying to people and saying, you know, marijuana, it's schedule one, it, it's, it's uh, uh, harmful to the body, it's addictive, it has no medical purposes. These are all lies. So kids are experimenting. And they're finding out that, hey, this doesn't do that. What are they talking about? I feel better. My pain is gone. And they must be lying about the other things, too. Or they go to the doctors, and the doctor prescribes them these deadly, dangerous painkillers, and they get addicted to them. And then they end up taking too many. It becomes an addiction problem, and, and they become either you know, sick or side effects from that, or they can even die from it. So it makes no sense to me why marijuana is not legal when it can stop the opium epidemic. Christie came up with a little statement here. Today, New Jersey and communities around the world remember individuals who were lost to drug overdoses and those who have been saved from the depths of an overdose and given a second chance at life. Addiction is a disease, and the associated stigma must be addressed so that more of our relatives, friends, neighbors, and coworkers are empowered to get help instead of suffering in silence from being shamed or disgraced. With prescription and illegal drug overdoses becoming the top cause of accidental death in the nation, it is time to shine a brighter light on this tragic issue. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, more than 50,000 people die each year in America from drug overdoses, and another 2.5 million people are treated in emergency rooms for the misuse or abuse of drugs. The Governor's Council on Alcoholism and Drug Abuse remains committed to raising awareness about prevention, treatment, and recovery resources in order to save lives, combat stigma, and end the costly cycle of recidivism. We continue urging people to contact 1-844-REACH-NEW-JERSEY and reachnewjersey.gov to access immediate and lasting resources to avoid or overcome addiction. It's Governor Chris Christie's words right there. Yeah, real yes, we're on the air. I want to uh, talk to you about Overdose Awareness Day. and uh, It's a big problem here in New Jersey. And I think medical cannabis will help uh, people as an exit drug to get off of uh, yes. opiates. I was on opiates for 10 years, and I got off opiates using cannabis. Yes, hi. Uh, we have a problem here in New Jersey with opiates and people overdosing. And I saw that it's Overdose Awareness Day, and we're doing a podcast right outside Chris Christie's office. And Chris Christie has a medical cannabis program in New Jersey, and he's not mentioning it. And I think you should talk about it because I was on opiates for 10 years, and I got off opiates using medical cannabis. And I think it should be something that, that's on the table talked about. Are you guys talking about medical cannabis as an exit drug for opiates? Yes. And? Yes, and? Are you trying to look for services for yourself? Yes, I'm trying to help other people uh, get off of opiates using cannabis. Um, do you guys talk about cannabis at all to patients or, or no? See? So you, you would refer me to a treatment center, maybe? Is that what would happen? Okay, hold on one second. I'm going to transfer you to another meeting day. Hi, Cliff. This is Lefty. You're on the air. We're talking about Overdose Awareness Day here, and we're at Chris Christie's office. 
And I'd like to know, yeah, are you guys talking about cannabis as an exit drug? Because I was on opiates for 10 years, and I used cannabis, yeah, and I used cannabis to get off of opiates. Is that something you guys are talking about there, or no? Okay. So we're not talking we're not talking about anything on this problem is just trying to help people get into treatment on the conversation that you're trying to have. You probably want to get in contact with um, someone that would be able to go more in depth with you about um, the legalization of a lot of different ways to address addiction. 